Hello and welcome to my tutorial on Floyd Hub. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be running through how to use Floyd Hub to run a Jupyter Notebook using a GPU, which is really the key part of this tutorial. Now, just as a disclaimer before I start anything, I need to, look, I need to say that uh, I'm not liable for any, uh, any money that you might lose, right? So it is up to you to shut down your instances. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so this video comes without any warranty. Okay, so saying that there is not much of a, a risk in using Floyd Hub because they do have a, the trial period and it is fairly cheap and you must, must, must remember to shut down your instances once you're done. Okay, so saying that, let's get started. So uh, what I have is a model that's gone ahead and done a fake news classifier. So just to uh, show you what's inside this folder, uh, I have the glob vector data set, uh, a, a, a CSV file that contains a fake or real news. And lastly, um, my Jupyter notebook, all right? So uh, .ipymd, so that's my Jupyter notebook. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is we can say Floyd login. Okay, so uh, this should take you to a browser if you haven't done, already done so. And so say yes. So it'll take you to a browser. Make sure you copy this token that you have. So copy the clip, clipboard, come back to your terminal and paste it. Okay, so uh, it, it's like I said, it's an invisible field, so don't worry about that it didn't uh, chuck out anything. Next thing that you do is you say Floyd init. Okay, so init, and then you need to give it a name. So in this case, I'm going to call it fake news. You, I am in the folder called fake news, but you don't have to call it the same name. Okay, so you could choose whatever name that you want it to be. Right, so uh, in this case, I, I will choose the same name. Uh, press enter, and this will take you back to the browser again, right? Because you need to create a project. Um, so because I'm using the, the free version, I can't create a private repository, so I'm gonna have it as public. Uh, you might, actually depending on how you sign up, you might be able to change that. But anyway, let's keep it as pu public. I'm gonna create this project, all right? So, all right. And now you need to go back to your browser, and unfortunately you do need to save for it in it the same thing again, okay? Um, all right, because it didn't, it hadn't uh, created that before. So had you done this before, had you run this uh, notebook before, uh, you would only have to write uh, for it in it fake news once. And in fact, I'm not entirely sure you need to write in it because you need already initialize. Okay, so um, now all the initialization bits done. The next thing that you do is simply say Floyd. Uh, let me let me make some space so that you can actually see. So then you're going to say Floyd run uh, dash dash GPU dash dash n so for environment. I'm gonna say TensorFlow 1.0, okay? And then the mode, uh, and then the mode is Jupyter, okay? It's because I want to run a Jupyter notebook. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna copy all, everything that's in the data folder and put it up onto their server so that you, you will be able to run it. In fact, it's, it's so good, well, it's good enough that it will open up the browser for you with uh, the Jupyter uh, notebooks uh, ready to run. Okay, so uh, looks like, oh dear. Okay, so this, this, uh, this is a fairly large uh, data set, which I didn't remember it being. So this might take a while. So I'm just gonna pause it for now. Um, so once it's finished uh, uploading all that data, it's gonna automatically open up this uh, Floyd Hub notebooks thing. Right, so it'll automatically open this up for you. So all you have to do is uh, open it and run it. So let's let's run through this. I'm not going to go through through any of the theory behind this. Right? So just simply going to play through it. Um, so this this installing uh, some of the pip. Right. Okay. So I okay. Unfortunately, I forgot to uh, install this utilities. Thing. So keep in mind that you should uh, upload everything that you need. But let's um, okay. So let's let's try and upload some of the 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 data sets that we need. So I don't need this session because I've already done the done the downloading part. I'm just going to open up uh, my glob vector set. And that should do the trick. So right now it's just reading in from this uh, .txt file, it's reading in all the, the glove vectors. So it's done that part. 
Uh, I'll go through this, actually, I'm, I don't really use this section over here. So I'm gonna skip that, that part. And then I'm gonna read in the, the, the actual data set that we're gonna be using. Okay, so, all right, there we go. So we have the title, the text, and so, so on and so forth. So this is changing everything uh, into numbers, right? So, uh, yeah, so the, the, the first bit is, is gonna be a bit, a bit uh, it's not slow, but it's the same speed as if you were to use your own uh, laptop, right? So there's, there's nothing special that goes on in the first bit. But when, when you get to training that you really start to see uh, that it's using a GPU, right? So, all right, so what it's gone ahead and done is it's taken, uh, taken one of these, um, these uh, articles, right? So Daniel Greenfield, blah, 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 it, and it's converted it into numbers, right? So this is these are arrays that it has, right? So some of, some of the words do, uh, appear as an other token because they, they're simply, uh, that word is not uh, mentioned that many times, so I, I disregard it. Right? So then the next thing that I do is I'm going to pad it. Uh, so if a sentence is not as long as 500, uh, 500 words, I, I pad that with a sentence. Okay. So yeah, let's let's skip this bit because really I don't I don't want to go through what the model is actually doing. It is not the name of the tutorial. Um, all right. So here we go. So I specify what the model looks like. Now, so when I did it on my laptop, each epoch took 43 seconds, right? So let's see how fast it goes on a GPU. And, and nowhere in the model did I specify it was GPU. When there's a GPU available, it will automatically use the GPU. Right? So you don't have to do anything as far as you're concerned. Right? So let's run it. So 40, 40 seconds was how long it took. And on this one, it's surprisingly taking somewhat longer. All right, so let's, let, me, let me tell you why. Right, so let me stop the flood there before it goes any longer. Uh, so, so, so press stop. So let me interrupt the training. So the reason that it's taking so long is it's, trans it's taking too long to transfer from CPU to GPU. All right, so what we, what we want to do is try and keep all the calculations as much as possible on the GPU. So in order to do that, what we, what we need to do is we need to increase the batch size, right? So it, uh, it goes through a single epoch much faster that way. Right? So I'll change it quite all. Let's see what happens. So let's see, it, it drops down to uh, eight seconds or something like that. I'll probably do a lot better than that if I, if I increase it. Right? So my accuracy is 75%. Uh, oh, it only run through one epoch. Right, so, so the epoch is one. So let me, yeah, actually, let me leave it at, at one. So in this case, it took 10 seconds and 40 seconds. I can increase this up to, let's, let's, let's go crazy and just put this down to 2,000. In general, you want to make batch size a power of two, but I'm just going to ignore that for now. And then I'm going to put uh, 2,000. And this should take even less. So it took three seconds. When, so basically, you can see that the higher the batch size, the faster it goes, okay? But again, you need to reach a balance between using a large batch size and uh, how random you want your, your uh, gradients to be. But because keep in mind, if you choose a bigger batch size, your training might not be as good because um, you're averaging out all those gradients. There's no uh, stochastic, and so there's no random part of it because keep in mind, what we really want to do is stochastic gradient descent, not just gradient descent, okay? So you need to reach a balance between doing stochastic gradient descent and making it fast, All right? So um, that's pretty, oh, actually, <laughs> before we go on, let me show you how to end your training. So uh, a good thing that you should do is, you, you generally should do mol.save, okay? Mol.save with my mol.save. Uh, H5 or something, okay, so it'll save it in the, in the, in the, in the folder. So once you're done with all your training on your GPU uh, in, on Foid Hub, what you do is you go back to your projects um, on Foid Hub, you refresh it. Okay, so you'll see, you'll see this uh, running tab, okay? And underneath that, there's a cancel thing, so you press cancel. So once you press cancel, 
it's, it's saying, are you sure you want to cancel the experiment? So you say confirm. And that should, yeah. So now that you come up with the shutdown thing, it means that, that you finished up with the experiment, right? So uh, you can go to jobs and then, so once you click this thing again, you should be able to get, yeah. There's a, there's a thing called output. So let me go to code. Yeah, so there's a thing called output. From here, you can download all the, all the data that you just did, okay? So which means you can download your model onto your local computer and reuse it if you need to. So that was pretty much it. So the main points that you need to remember is I will put down all the, the CLI, the command line, uh, command lines that are used in the description. Um, make, make sure to uh, stop your instance once, you, once you're done. So, uh, so go to your projects and then press on the cancel thing underneath, underneath the project where it says running. Uh, and last thing, once you're done with that, go to your output and download it onto your local computer so you can mess around with it a bit more. Um, general tips, don't try and write the code on Floyd Hub. G generally what I do is I make sure I wrote, write, write it down locally and that it's running so that you don't have to de deal with debugging issues on, on Floyd Hub with, where you actually do pay, pay uh, money if you're not on the uh, promotion period. Um, what else do you need to know? Um, I, I think I think that's that's about it. So if you have any questions or comments, please please let me know. Have fun uh, and uh, good luck with uh, whatever you're doing. Cheers.